Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa and I'm up in the goat room for Inside Porch Time Stormy Day Story Time. And this book has a big reflection because it has a shiny plastic cover from the library. But I want to get to the inside of the book because the regular pages aren't so glary. And this book is called Cannonball. And the words are by Sasha Cotter and the pictures are by Josh Morgan. Cannonball. There's lots to see in this artwork. Lots to see. And it looks like he's thinking really hard and doing some math and some calculations because he's trying to figure out how to do the best cannonball jump dive into the water ever. Let me read to you. I am always dreaming of pulling off the perfect cannonball. A booming one, a slapping one, a splashing, dripping, soaking one. Do an amazing cannonball around here and you'll be something all right. You'll be some one. And I've been studying cannonballs forever. Nan is an awesome teacher. What do you want to know, sunshine? You want to know about a staple dive, a knee lock, a bottle pop? A coffin drop? I know, I know, the Manu. That's my favorite, too. Ben, Ben, now lean back. Don't forget the V. You want to land in a V. That's it. Beautiful. I think his nan knows a lot about certain kinds of dives. Everyone has their pre-jump rituals. You've got your thinkers, you've got your posers, you got your dive right inners, and you got your jokers. Me, before I jump, I whisper. Hear my song, see my lines, check my moves, they're so fine. See me soar, see me fly, see me swooping through the sky. But watch out for my... Oh, he didn't do it. Sometimes I get the feeling that I'm just not cut out for cannonballs. Still, everyone has advice. You need more weight. You need more height. You need more hair. You need some bigger shorts. More muscles. Bigger shorts. More puku. That means your belly. More puku. Bigger shorts. I listen to everything they say, and I do everything they tell me to do. Once again, before I jump, I whisper, but my voice is so quiet. I'm not sure my voice is even there anymore. Hear my song. See my lines. Check my moves. They're so fine. See me soar. See me fly. See me swooping through the sky. But watch out for my hurry up and jump already. Look, he did everything they told him to do. Get more height, get more belly, get bigger shorts. Even my belly flop fails to make a splash. Kid, it's time to accept what is true. Cannonballs aren't for someone like you. But Nan says she has other ideas. Come here, sunshine. Of course cannonballs are for you. Listen to your heart. Listen to your mind. To the pool that's inside, do it your way. My way? Yes, baby, your way, all the way. Once I really listened, it was easy to know what to do. Nan, Nan, I know. I'll make a flower for each ear. I'll let the breeze flow in my hair. I'll get a rainbow for some flair, then go dancing through the air. And I will do it my way. You'll shine like the stars and you'll whirl like the wind and I'll do it my very own way. You'll sing like the birds and unfurl like a fern and I'll do it my own special way. This time before I jump, I shout to the water, I shout to the trees, I shout to the clouds and I shout to the leaves. I shout to the sky, to the moon, to the sun. I shout, I shout to everyone. I shout out loud because now I really see that the voice I need to hear is the voice that comes from me. 
Hear my songs, see my lines, check my moves, they're so fine. See me soar and see me fly, see me swooping through the sky, but watch out for my cannonball. Hear his songs, see his lines, check his moves, they're so fine. See him soar and see him fly, see him swooping through the sky. He's the bomb. Cannonball. Awesome. I hope you like that one. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.